These two older men were having breakfast one morning when Ed noticed something strange about Joe's ear. He kept looking at it during the breakfast. And finally, upon further inspection, he says, Joe, is that a suppository in your left ear? Ed takes it out, looks at it, and says, Hmm, thanks for the help, Ed. I think I know where my hearing aid is now. (laughs) You found the Happy Life Challenge. Seven days of happy. Seven happy hacks to help us develop our happy habit. Today we want to talk about being helpful. I like what Charles Dickens said. No one is useless in this world who lightens the burdens of another. Or, as Jimmy Durante would say at the end of almost every Happy Life Studios podcast, (laughs) make someone happy and you'll be happy too. There's a reason why we end all of our regular podcasts with this song. Make someone happy and you'll be happy too. This challenge, just like all the others, really is such a simple concept. It's not that difficult to do. And this challenge is not only simple like the other challenges, but it's basically related to them as well. If you think about it, it's a lot like the Happy Life Challenge, thankful, as well as beautiful. Because when you're thankful, you aren't focusing on what you don't have. When you see that you're beautiful, you're not focusing on who you aren't. Instead, you're focusing on what you do have when you're thankful, and you're focusing on who you actually are when you see that you're full of beauty or full of thanks. And when you're full of help, you're no longer looking at your own situation, your own problems, your own things. You are focusing on somebody else. Maya Angelou ties these together as well. She said, when we give cheerfully and accept gratefully, everyone is blessed. There you go. There's your happy, cheerfully, and your thankful, gratefully. And Frank said, no one has ever become poor by giving. And here's one that is going to seem weird to you that I would even quote this as Happy Life Studios, or I would put it in a Happy Life Challenge. It's from Ralph Waldo Emerson. He says, quote, the purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well, end quote. But truth is, when you do those things, you become happy. We get the cart in front of the horse. When we make our life all about being happy, all we're focusing on is being happy. We're focusing on what we aren't. But when we focus on other people, like Ralph Waldo Emerson says, if we focus on being useful, being helpful, happy follows that. It's like putting the cart in front of the horse. That doesn't work very well. You have to put the horse first and the cart will follow. When we put being helpful first, happy will be the cart that follows. So if you're going to hitch anything to this one pony show, hitch it to helpful. When you are helpful, happy will always follow. So here are the action points. Number one, find quality friends. People are the prize. They're the treasure. Find quality people like you are searching for treasure. Do what you have to do to find quality people. And what I mean by that is not people of some social status or financial status, not people that may be popular or famous, but people that are going to help you become a better person. Quality people that when you're around them, you feel beautiful. You tend to feel thankful. You get full of happy. I'm talking about finding happy friends, quality people who will make you better, not worse. People who encourage you. They don't drain you. People that help you find you're happy. It is their goal for you to be happy. They don't focus on themselves first. They focus on you. That's the quality people I'm talking about. That's what we need to try to fill our lives with, finding quality people like that. Finding quality friends like that, happy friends that help you on your journey of happy. It's hard to do this happy life challenge without that. But when you got the right quality friends in your life that help you on your journey of being happy, it changes 
everything. It's, it's so hard to do this thing alone. And if you don't have friends like that, if you can't find friends like that, like I said, search for them, all right? You got to find them. That's action point number one. You got to find them. So search for them like they're sunken treasure. I am going to find some quality people in my life that are going to help me be happier, that are going to help me be a better person. If you don't have friends like that already, or you can't think of who they are, oftentimes they're hidden. Honestly, they're hidden. Like I said, they're sunken treasure. They don't stand up and say, hey, I'm this treasure that you, I'm going to help you in your life. They're often quiet and they're hidden. Most of us have friends like that. We just don't spot them. So we have to look for them. We have to pursue them. But if you can't find a friend like that, if you don't have any friends like that, then be a friend like that. Work on being a person that makes other people happy. Being a person that is full of help, a person that is helpful. So action point number one, find quality friends. Action point number two, ask why you're feeling down. When you're feeling down, ask yourself the question, why am I feeling this way? Then ask yourself the question, why am I focusing on myself? Because when we're down, it's usually because we're focusing on on ourselves. So ask yourself the question, wait a minute, why am I looking at myself? Because a happy life challenge is to be helpful. If you become helpful, that's the horse. Happy, the cart will follow. So don't get the cart in front of the horse. Ask yourself, why are you focusing on yourself? Like we said in the happy challenge, watchful, as well as a few of the other happy life challenges, to be honest. Look, listen, remember. That's what watchful is all about. If what you're looking at, if what you're listening to, if what you're thinking about isn't bringing you to a state of being happy, then look at something else. Listen to something else. Think of something else. And that's what it's all about, being helpful. If you're struggling with you, stop focusing on you. Find someone else that you can focus on and help their life. Help them to be, if if you want encouragement in your life, then encourage somebody else. If you want financial help in your life, then find someone else that's in a financial need and help them. And that's actually action point number three. Find quality friends, one. Number two, ask why you're feeling down. Number three, give. Find out what that person needs and give that to them. And if you don't know what that is, then figure it out, like I said, what you want in your life, what you're needing right now, and give that to somebody else. And don't give expecting anything in return. Don't expect anything back from them. I think that's like manipulation. If I'm given to you so you'll give back to me, I'm not really given to you. My, the, the DNA, the reason why I'm given to you is to get something back from you. I like what John Bunyan said, quote, you have not lived today until you have done something for someone who can never repay you, end quote. Give just because they need help. Give just because you need help. Figure out what they need and give that to them. And if you can't figure out what they need, why they're being crabby or sad or whatever, then just figure out a need that you have and give that to them because you harvest what you plant. So don't give to get something back, but give realizing that you will get something back. Huh? Well, <laughs> Don't give so you get something back from them because it's probably not going to come from them because they're in a state of need. And when you're in a state of need, it's hard to think of anybody else other than yourself, which is exactly why we have this Happy Life Challenge helpful in the first place. So what I'm saying is you harvest what you plant. You know, people say that karma is a bleep. It's a B word, but it's not bleep. (laughs) Karma's a, you can just fill in the blank there, okay? But I think the karma, even though some may say it's a bleep, I think it's a blessing. Whether karma is a bleep or it's a blessing, like Maya Angelou would say, it all depends on what we are throwing out there. You harvest what you plant. Be helpful and you get helpful back. Help somebody and you will be happy. Make someone happy, and you will be happy too.